Yo, are y'all really seeing this? <laughs> I'm getting off the wall with this. This is off of OBS Studio. Let's see what else I can do. Yo, if you want to learn this effect, you're going to have to get the OBS. Hey, why is it moving? I thought I was in the center. <laughs> now, this is kind of trippy. Kind of, kind of trippy, 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 trippy. Yeah, hold on. Let me slow it down a little bit. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm seeing y'all twice. All right, let's go the other direction. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Whoa. How about diagonal? That looks nuts. I can't even see my face. Where's my face at? I'm getting cut off. What's up, guys? I don't know if y'all tired of this effect yet, but it is known as the scroll effect. I'm playing around on OBS, the Open Broadcaster Software Studio. And hold on, let me move this. You can do a lot of different stuff. This is the effect here. You just got to go to effect filters for any of your actual objects aka the sources that you choose to add these are your sources here this is your scenes if you never used obs give it a try try to play around with adding sources you have multiple ways to do it let me x this out and this is just ad adding multiple scenes of the same exact source so i added scene one scene one in here so you can do scene in scene as well as adding multiple sources so I was playing around just trying to see what I could do like I can get rid of this one bring it back or get rid of this one bring it back so you can do a disappearing act playing around with your own scenes and have yourself pop up multiple times on the screen if you wanted to like I can keep playing around with this one I wish they had like a duplicate that would be awesome hopefully it doesn't freeze but uh, let's go to scene again we're gonna add scene one another time so say you wanted that that and putting yourself in multiple places like this just playing around um that would be really interesting to play with i don't know how many people have done that on youtube to play around putting themselves in multiple places but you would have to fit it into a place where you're not you know ruining the integrity of your own um graphic I should say or and this is webcam playing around with webcams manipulating see so if you can do that um, let me do another one add another one let's go into scene scene one in order to do that you have to add existing scenes so scene one obviously is hold on one second and this one I can throw sideways sideways let's go to transform and rotate that way I can do it do it like that and then it looks really crazy I'll try to record this when I'm done oops get out the way a little bit it's a little too too much in the way make sure you don't cut your self off here and then I can put little small tiny ones there and a nice big one right there right Let's try this again. I'm just giving y'all folks ideas as to playing around and creating things that no one else really is thinking about doing. Um, you can make one look really crazy and messed up if you wanted to as well, or overlay this one on top of the other one. So put this one up here like that, then it's gonna cut off the shoulder just a little bit so you move it up right there and then that fits like a puzzle piece and then turn this one the other way that would look crazy right let's see uh, filter actually no that's not what I needed I need hold on one second transform we got to rotate 180 degrees nope let's rotate uh, counterclockwise 90 degrees there we go so 
something like that. So you can play around, right? It's really cool, right? You can just keep playing with this thing. Try to fit yourself in as many in many as many places as possible. And you never know what you can come up with. Now let me record this. Yo, what's up, cats? Yo, we chilling over here trying to freestyle flow with thoughts that's like, yeah, yeah. And then I'll add that to the actual show. Um, let me pause this and I'll be right back. Yo, what's up, cats? Yo, we chilling over here trying to freestyle flow with thoughts that's like, yeah, yeah. Now this is my upgraded version. So what I did, I actually removed the background a little bit better, made it clean, and I actually put on my makeup that I usually put on. So this looks a lot better, right? And then I kind of detailed this to make it look a little better as well. If y'all folks want to do any of this stuff, that's what I do. I like to play around with my Open Broadcaster Software Studio. And this is going to lead into the studio tutorial session that I, I was talking about in one of my videos. Um, there's a studio section on OBS where you can actually pre-design your um, sets. So meaning your virtual sets, your scenes, etc. And bring in your scenes as you see fit. It's really awesome. So if y'all want to check that out, check out the next video and I'll catch you there. Thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to hit the thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. If y'all guys like what you have seen so far, I'm just playing around and having fun. And that's what YouTube is all about. I'll catch you there. Peace. Thanks a lot guys and gals for checking out my videos. Uh, if y'all folks like what you've seen here and maybe you're interested in checking out other videos, you can click up here, the little circle you see that's gonna subscribe you guys to my channel. You can click the little bell to notify you of my newest videos. I'm trying to help everybody that I can to learn OBS Studio and also learn how to create really cool YouTube videos. Um, you can also click over here and you'll get to those videos that are there, my previous video, or maybe a playlist or something to that effect to get to the future videos. And that's all I got. I'm out.